glad you join us here tonight. Now, if this is your first time with us, be sure to head on over to cccks.org forward slash CY. Fill out the form. We'd love to get out a welcome gift to you. Now, as usual, we are on live chatting with you all tonight. So drop a note in the chat, say hi to us, and we will chat back with you while the show is being streamed out. You know, 2020, needless to say, has been kind of a crazy year. So we thought we'd start out the show tonight by taking a look back. Hey, we kind of like lived through a pandemic. This is crazy, right? It looks like maybe the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl again. What? You remember back in March and April and honestly all the, the months leading up to now where toilet paper was flying off the shelves, almost like $100 TVs on Black Friday. That was crazy. Who knew it would be such a commodity? And then remember when the shelves were bare? March and April, we can hardly even find a box of mac and cheese. It's crazy. So, to start out tonight, it's a lighthearted look at what if you slept through most of 2020 and you just woke up last week. Check it out. Oh, oh my gosh, she's awake. <laughs> like, where am I? You're in the hospital. You've been in a coma. What day is it? It's December 2020. You've been out for like nine months. I've been trapped inside for nine months? That's not that unique of a situation, but who knew it would last this long? What? Wait, why are you on my TV? Oh yeah, this is Zoom. Zoom? It lets you see people when it's not safe to meet in person. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Oh no, it's not you. It's just the rest of humanity who can give it to you. You're fine now. Hang on, I'm telling everyone that you're awake. You're awake, we all missed you. Zoom calls are not the same without you. Well, clearly I'm in some sci-fi <laughs> dream. I miss them too, so what else have I missed while I was asleep? What do you remember? So how about those Australian wildfires? Are they out? Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Those are good and, and we're trying to put out other fires, if you know what I mean. No, I don't, but did I miss the Olympics? We all did, we put out that torch. No sports? Not even the Royals? Baseball? I couldn't believe this text. I mean, you're back. And you guys already spilled the beans about the Royals? Really? I mean, you couldn't, like, ease into that or anything? How do they just cancel baseball? I mean, I guess you could say we got hit with a different kind of bat. I mean, they still have some sports, like Patrick Mahomes. He's killing. Okay, but March Madness. Who won that? Oh, yeah, I think we all did. Those marches put an important topic on on the map that we all need to talk about. Oh yeah, you're talking about basketball. That never happened, the, the, the marches did. Ouchie! How do you know about Fauci? Just tell me what's happening. Well, there's this virus and we're trying to keep it away from everybody and it's not really working. Is there any positive news? Two words, Tiger King, it's on Netflix. Oh yeah, it's good because we have to do work at home and uh, we have to do school online because like every day is pajama day. I bet the climate is getting better because there, there's more people staying home. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I bet the animals are loving it. Sure, a little too much because now we have murder hornets on the loose. What? Don't worry about it. I think you're all cut up now. Do you guys have a picture of the blood moon to send me? Blood moon? Yeah, yeah. Sending now. Is anyone else thinking about putting their name in for one of the next trips to space? Yeah, when I win the lottery, SpaceX mostly prices people out of it. If I was ever going to cash in life savings in a colony on Mars, now would be the time. <laughs> Hashtag 2020. Am I right? Yeah, money bags, whatever. I gotta go. I'm out. Bye. Bye.
What? If we're being honest, 2020 has been pretty wacky. Up next, we have Kid Pastor weighing in on Christmas and a pandemic. Yeah, 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 yeah. As we head into the Christmas season, many of us aren't feeling joy, we're feeling anxious. Christmas is often a season filled with budget, uh, budgets, and family friction. And this year we have a pandemic to add on top of it. Is it impossible that the true meaning of Christmas could Replace anxiety with joy? Jesus is the true meaning of Christmas. His arrival on earth is reason for joy. Joy to the world. In a dark time, long ago, the light came. It came through political turmoil, and it came through religious unrest. There was violence and confusion in the world. It was a world lost, a world not so different from today. A baby was born. He was the promised Messiah. Christ the King, the light of the world. He's a God of hope. He's the author of our faith. He's our exceeding joy. The Prince of Peace. And Jesus still is the light of the world.
and open wide thy heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high, and close a path to misery. Thanks for joining us for Community Youth Live Holiday Edition. It has been fun having you. We are wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We will see you in the New Year, Community Youth. Bye-bye.